morning everyone this is ranger rob and welcome to the ranger rob country living channel want to welcome all the new subscribers and i want to follow up on my starters they're almost all gone they're almost almost all gone and uh reason being when we get out to the greenhouse you'll see that we pulled a whole bunch of the iceberg lettuce gave them to the chickens and uh i have some anxious dogs that want to go outside anyway uh Let's go start work working the routine here. Well, looks like we have another beautiful day. It's gonna be super warm. Uh, my understanding is we're gonna have some record temperatures. So it's pretty important we get everything watered this morning just before things start cooking. All right, guys, we are in the greenhouse. We haven't opened up the sides yet. But you'll see that there's a big difference in the center here. Is uh, we took a lot of the iceberg lettuce, took all those uh, new starters. That's pretty much, there's a couple of peppers, a couple of dill, but all this is, uh, except for the ones at the end, is still uh, iceberg lettuce, uh, is uh, butter crunch. And I have ordered some other lettuces, mirror, uh, Jubilee, uh, some other interesting names I can't um, remain. Uh, there's one other, I can't remember the name of it. But uh, it's supposed to be uh, a lettuce that can handle hotter weather. So uh, the, the thing I'm learning is, it's one thing to have hydroponics, now it's time to learn how to grow stuff because of, of temperatures and weather and things like that. So. For example, now my some of my uh, spinach is starting to flower because it's hot. And there's other spinach I can grow in the summer um, that are kind of equivalents. And then I can go back to reg growing regular spinach in the fall. So now it's kind of learning how to rotate crops and uh, things like that. So just when you think you're done, there's still a lot to learn but uh everything's looking beautiful in here i need to open it up because it's uh 83 degrees in here once we get the sides open it will really uh open her up plus uh i want the bees and i want the i want uh i really like to have some ladybugs i have ordered a, some about 150 ladybugs i'm gonna let them loose in here because uh like i told you yesterday the aphids is our nemesis here in Central Oregon. All right, guys, get the si sides open. I help keep the uh, greenhouse cool. I just wanted to show you the compost bin. There was a lot of lettuce, and we gave a lot to uh, the chickens. And this is not going to waste. It's going into compost. So. Uh, very happy chickens. They had full bellies yesterday. Of course, now they're sitting here belly aching at me, like, give us more. So that's all we're getting today. So, uh, still got a lot of things to do. Got to get that lumber. And, uh, yeah, what I noticed on the NFT was my flow kind of in the middle was real high. And so I had to put some temporary spacers in the back here to get the flow a little faster. I was trying to stay around 3%, but I might actually be under. But uh, other than that, uh, there is so much to learn. I'm always learning something new every day. It's one thing to even build the NFT systems, then to load it, then to start growing things, and then dealing with the weather dealing with things that have to uh, rotate out because it's getting warmer and some plants want to go to seed. Uh, everything in here is growing really well. The onions, the purple beans, <coughs> all that's tomatoes. And uh, once again, it's really amazing. Most of those tomatoes were planted about the same time and yet they're so much smaller than the ones in the greenhouse. So. Uh, that tells you anything about greenhouses, NFT, and Dutch buckets. Uh, oh, and the other thing I forgot, I got permission to do the Dutch bucket system for 
cauliflower. So, uh, cool, huh? <laughs> well, it is to me. And uh, we're gonna do it in the greenhouse. <clears throat> uh, now that I opened up some space. <clears throat> so, uh, okay, I gotta start getting ready to head to the store. I still can't get over how quickly the strawberries are starting to turn and produce strawberries. And uh, uh, just still really still early. And uh, uh, these aren't even in the sun yet, but uh, it's just kind of fun to watch. It's kind of neat because every evening Sherry comes home, I don't steal any until she gets home. And then we have a strawberry in the evening as we do a walk around. It's kind of funny every evening I have Sherry kind of do a walk around with me because she sees things I don't. That's just how it is. And so, uh, uh, so she literally gets home and she's like, all right, give me the tour. <laughs> it's like, all right, tell her what, what new discoveries or new things are going on with the garden. And uh, I'm kind of anxious to see what my first white strawberry looks like. I haven't seen one yet. And uh, I'll, let you, <laughs> I'll let you know when I know I got one coming. So uh, I wanted to see if they actually taste like a pineapple. So I got to laugh, one of the jokes around this property is wherever you turn, you're gonna see sweet peas, but you gotta see Sweet Pea Island. This is Sweet Pea Island right here. And uh, it's nothing but sweet peas. And uh, Sherry, Sherry planted some uh, sunflowers in here. So it should look really cool to have a sunflower in here and all these sweet peas. These things, these things are just relentless. They come back every year, we never plant them. So once you put sweet peas in, you're gonna have sweet peas forever. And uh, the dogs are not supposed to be eating them, but they love them. Get out of there, Cinder, out. Get out of the sweet peas. But uh, can you believe that? That is some major sweet peas. And before I forget, I do have to show off some of the roses. We've got some white roses here, some little roses here, a lot of roses here, and a puppy. A beautiful pink roses right here, and there. And then uh, just recently, see these red ones came out. And way in the back is kind of a pink and peach colored rose. I don't know if you can see it way back there. But uh, yeah, this is kind of a rose area that Sherry's mother put in. So uh, we've never had to plant the roses. Come on, Cinder. Um, oh, there's a closer picture. Oh, this is a different one. Look at this. This one's really cool. Kind of a salmon pink and yellow. So uh, yeah, flowers are coming out. And uh, remember Sherry's basket? It's doing really well too. And uh, one thing we don't have lack of is flowers. And I gotta admit, I'm starting to get appreciation for the flowers but sweet peas are relentless. Well guys, the day has come. Yes, I got more tiki torches. <laughs> so, they came in today. So I've got uh, eight more of these puppies to put, uh, put up. Uh, these are the sticks that they go on. And uh, it's kind of an exciting day for Sherry. She got a new Kindle and uh, took advantage of the prime, prime day sales and uh, she really uses her old Kindle, so this one's a little more high-tech. Uh, this one has audio on it, and so uh, she's pretty excited to get it. And uh, we picked up uh, some <laughs> two-by-fours. Uh, I paid eight fifty dollars a board, so I, I only bought four. It's just like, it's so ridiculous. And uh, some perlite, some uh, containers to work on my uh, cauliflower idea. And, uh, but I, I'm still missing a few parts for that, but 
Yeah, let's get some tiki torches install installed. <laughs> it's a yeah. All right, guys, I got the new tiki torches, eight more installed, and uh, this place ought to be pretty lit up in the evening. Another thing I did pick up uh, for uh, my wife, she wanted some citronella plants, and uh, I've had kind of a hard time finding them. My apple happened to stumble upon a couple, uh, so, so I snagged them. But uh, there's one right there. And uh, by the way, these are the buckets I came up with for the new Dutch bucket design. And uh, so yeah, I'm gonna go uh, hang one of these up for my wife and uh, let her decide what she wants the other one. We do have mosquitoes. Well, I put one by the door for now, and then I put another one along the house to uh, see if they do keep the mosquitoes away. We'll see, but I need to move a table into the uh, greenhouse. And it's hot, and I don't feel like doing it, but it just doesn't get done unless I do it. Once again, it's a beautiful day, but it's a hot one. So I'm thinking, that should be a good place to put it. I'll put a tank underneath it and uh, two totes in the top and uh, go from there. But I still need a pump and I still need some cauliflower. And it might be too hot this time of year to do cauliflower. So I might have to do something else, but I still want to try it. All right guys, so these, uh, this is the uh, totes I found. Um, kind of like to put them like that but well, I guess that might work the only uh, issue I'm seeing is I got to put plumbing in these so uh, it'd be nicer to have them like that for uh, drainage but uh, I can work with either way I have to see what the high command thinks, but uh, yeah, that's them. Uh, you don't. I'm not going to be using the lids. Well, amongst all the other crazy things I got to do today, I got the frame done for the extra support I needed on the NFT, and uh, I'll probably try to put this in my myself or wait till Sherry gets here. All right, from a distance, hopefully you can see it. That new spacer definitely took the little warp out of it. Looks really good. That was like the perfect. So I uh, just got to straighten it up a little more, put some straps on it. We're good to go. You a hot dog. How's Cinder doing? Good girl, huh? All right, I'm gonna take some hot dogs into the house to cool down. Pretty happy about how things are shaping up. Got that new support in. I feel a lot better about that. <coughs> and we're gonna just go cool off for a little while. Well, it's a little later in the day, guys. Hotter in the Dickens. But I still gotta get the last of the three tomato plants transferred to bags and I've just procrastinated long enough and uh, we're gonna get that done so I'm coming out to the greenhouse now I'm gonna get those plants transplanted I did buy some more sticks or rails to go in the plants so I can uh, secure them from the wind 
So let's do it. Right, guys there we go you got a all three of those I have no more extra tomatoes like I don't have enough already so uh yeah glad to have that done well another thing I had to get done is I ordered a smaller pump because I'm just doing the two buckets in there for the uh, Dutch bucket I'm gonna call it the amazing Dutch bucket system uh, still don't know what I'm gonna plan in it. I just want to do it and uh, uh, Let's see so I ordered that and uh, getting low on clips and uh, Oh, I ordered uh, some seed a, a particular spinach seed um, A plant that grows in the summer really well, but it's, it's a mix between a spinach and kind of a Swiss chard and it's perpetual spinach i think it's called and uh so that's on the way because all my uh i might be able to get one more meal out of our spinach and then i've got to pull it so uh, uh the drawbacks of uh summer uh some of the uh, um plants just can't handle this heat so we'll be uh switching some out and then i also have some other lettuces coming in like i told you that's a little bit better with uh summer heat too and uh, so eventually what you see out here uh, will get replaced by new plants. Also the stuff that's in the uh, floating rafts will move, move out here too. So it's just keep moving the crops. Uh, in the meantime, uh, things that are coming along just fine is onions, beans, green beans and uh, snap peas, uh, tomatoes and cucumbers are on the way along with strawberries are starting to show up. So. Yeah, you start losing out on some and then gaining others, and of course, the corn. So, uh, there you go. Well, guys, I'm out at the towers. Uh, Got to stop for a snack. That's kind of a good-looking strawberry. We better give it a taste, don't you think? Yum. Nothing's better than right off the branch. Wow, that tastes so good. Anyway, guys, with that note, I'm going to call it a day. I want to thank you for listening and watching. Please take the time to uh, like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. And all the new subscriber, subscribers, nice to have you. Talk to you later. Bye now. Our videos are made possible by Ranger Rob Poopy Bags. Available at Amazon right now. Thank you very much for watching our video. Please take the time to like, subscribe, and share our videos all over the whole wide world. Thanks.